come on everything is a-okay when you're riding with jay we're going to chicago and this is a different day than the video you guys are about to see but um the channel received its first sponsorship and uh what better place to be than where the company's based out of to tell you about them are you an experienced cdl driver in the search for a great lease owner operator opportunity with a hunger for the open road and a solid two years of recent experience if you're ready to embrace a thrilling three-week adventure conquer all 48 states except new york city and thrive on running an impressive 4,000 plus miles weekly your search ends right here join bloom services by calling 630-504-6126 or also you can click the link down in the description to visit their website thank you to bloom services for sponsoring the youtube channel now let's get to the new truck boys today is a very special day for a video um we are running a little behind not we're not behind it's due at 8 30 tomorrow morning but um, Cornell's got it in for a relay, so it's not like I could get there at 7 o'clock and be fine, but I told him I'd be there at noon, but we're going to be there a little bit later. Anyways, he called me this morning and he said, hey dude, you're getting a new truck today. So I was like, sweet, and it's a 2024, and he says it, it doesn't even say how many miles are on it, so I'm guessing it probably has like zero, like just like enough to like basically get it off and like, you know, so like maybe 20 miles, 40 miles, somewhere in there. So, we are going to go to HQ and get a new truck today, and they're selling this one. So, and then after that, we have a load going to Wabash, so we're going to have to get unloaded at that stupid Wabash paper place, and then uh, we'll be picking up a load tomorrow morning after we get unloaded. So, my plan is here is to go to HQ, do like a three, maybe four or five hour split, because... Here's the thing, the, we'll be there at 2.20, three hours is 5.20. I don't, I don't know. I don't really want to go through Chicago at that time at all. I, uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll think about it, but we got 261 miles here. And then after that, we'll be at HQ and we'll get a new truck and, uh, move everything over maybe if i can do it within like an hour and get the new trailer just leave because then i'll be going through chicago at three but dude that drive just sucks no matter which way what time you go through unless it's like nighttime so all right you're doing 64 sds let me engage my pass gear it's uh it's gonna be really nice to have a new truck we'll have digital displays now i don't know where i'm gonna mount this stuff though because that's all gonna be digital so i'm not too sure how this is gonna go we'll figure it out it also kind of sucks because that plate i'm no longer going to be able to use so we probably won't see my garmin for like until the next time i get back to hq um so there's that i'll probably have to go to home depot and have a new truck key made for though because i bet it only comes with one so yeah that's how it's going though and uh yeah i hope you guys are excited as i am to see the new truck and uh we're gonna have to move everything over so that's gonna be like moving a small apartment all right, we're making the turn into HQ here. I wish that turn over there, they would have made it, but it's not really made for us to turn in left there. So I did it one time and I was like, yeah, this isn't meant for left-hand turns. So I just come in this way now, but I guess we got a different truck. It's still a 2024, but it's a different one. And it still has like no miles. I guess the other one just wasn't like decaled yet. So they gave me this one instead. So. I, for, I don't know the truck number. Cornell sent it to me on here, but we got to go inside. Well, first we're going to drop this trailer and then I'm going to take all my BOLs inside, give them to Molly. And then probably, I don't know, dude. I don't know. I don't even know how fast I'm going, 20. Speed limit's 15. I hate this road. I hate it so much. I'm guessing it's one of these trucks on this fence over here. So let's see if we can see the new truck as we pull in. I think all the new trucks are over here on this side. 242079. Or it could be like one of these up here. 
242076. It better not be an international. <laughs> I'm not taking an international. I don't even see it, bro. What in the heck? Does it not have decals? Well, let's go ahead and just worry about parking this thing. I'll just go right there. It's gonna be a little tight, but not terrible. Van. We're already cutting it in too close. I think we got it. Go hard left. Alright, we gotta fix it. Go ahead and shove it back over to the other side a little bit. duty get out and drop it real quick all right guys we're going to get fuel these mirrors are kind of uh, out of whack we're gonna go get fuel um, we don't have very much fuel this steering wheel feels so weird to me and I hate the screen oh I don't like that it slides like that I don't can you adjust the screen no uh, but yeah Oh, someone hit something with that trailer. I don't really like it. It's gonna take some use to. Getting used to. So we're just gonna go get fuel. And then uh, come back and then switch everything to this truck. So that's gonna be fun. Um. Not doing it. Am I really gonna have to swipe my card? I have it, but I don't know how any of this stuff works on this seat, dude. It's weird. Alright, let me swipe my card. <coughs> I can't really reach. Alright. I'll probably open it now. I didn't work. There we go. Alright. I got my tablet on the ground because um, I need to get fuel. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going to go get fuel. And then they said I got to mount it on this side over here and I have no idea I might do this well I can't really do the same thing for my GPS so I don't know I haven't decided where I'm putting the GPS yet Morris is kind of far but uh we'll get her knocked out so all right so we got the truck fully moved in we had to do a lot of stuff dude barely when the truck's brand new the fifth wheel slid all the way to the front so when I backed underneath this trailer the trailer was pretty much on the fairings. I'm like, bro, that ain't right. 
So I walked all the way over to my other truck, saw where I had the skid plate there, and then I was like, okay. Um, and so now we're taking this load over to Wabash. And I, I'm not familiar with this PSI gauge. It says we're at 61 PSI. That's normally about like either right on the money or a little high. So I'm just gonna leave it. It's literally almost 10 o'clock at night and uh, 60 is pretty close. So <laughs> I don't see the point in scaling. We only got like 105 miles to go tonight and there's one way station. And um, last time I drove by, it was uh, under maintenance. And uh, I checked trucker path before I left and it said it was closed. So I'm pretty sure I'm legal, but I, I don't know. I don't, like someone had this trailer before me and uh, obviously their configuration could have been different, but now see we're moving and we're sitting right around that 60 mark. So I think we're legal. So we're just gonna go deliver it because there's only one way station and we're not getting pulled in. So we're just gonna keep on going on. I know that's not, normally correct or right but I just uh I just need to get stopped so 142 hours we got to go through Chicago we got to take 80 east and then um yeah so that's pretty much all we got today we're gonna stop at that Petro um and yeah and it took forever to get a courtesy car it was already like 5 30 so I was like oh I'm gonna try to get dinner and then like like all three guards were gone for two hours and I was like bro there's no way all these people left at the same time it's really cool because it has this gauges menu oh gosh right and I have it I set it up earlier let me just remove it see if I can get it engine oil pressure see it's not working it was working earlier it's not working now so I don't know I don't know what's wrong with it this is kind of a cool thing. I just hit the back arrow and then I can go. Maybe I can figure it out. Yeah, see, and you can look at all this stuff here. And then I didn't know this, but this is how you connect or do your opti idle. I tried doing the button, the same button that was on the other ones. And I didn't see it's this one right here. And there was no opti idle. So I called one of my buddies that also has a new truck. And it's under uh, cab. You go to cab. And you click that. And there you go. See, optimized idle, not available while vehicles moving. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, this is supposed to be hands free because you got both hands on the wheel. I watched like a video on like the functionality of it. And I kind of wish it was just like a clicker because it's kind of like these are like touch pads. So you got to like, I guess I can connect my phone. Maybe. There it is, riding with Jay. Oh no, no, wrong one. Cancel. Oh, do you guys like where I put the GPS? Right there, I know people are gonna complain about that wire, but I don't have a long enough cord yet to run it all the way around. So it's gonna have to be there. It's really like, from my direction, it's like over there. So it's only like, I'm not gonna be looking for anything up there, so. Hi right, guys, first uh, 140 miles in the truck went by great um i don't know if the gopro is about to die or not so if it dies it dies um we're gonna try to find some parking at this petro here should be some dude the turbo on this thing oh my gosh it is way louder than my other truck this does not look very promising i'm not even gonna lie there's literally trucks parked everywhere here dude everywhere I mean, I technically could go to my delivery and deliver it tonight, but I don't really want to do that because we got 75 miles and we got an hour and 41 minutes of drive time and I would have to do a 10 hour at that place and that place just sucks. So I think our best bet here is just to go find the back row and see if we can find something there. So I'm going to go down this way. And then I'll go right on the end down here. I believe I can do that. There's probably a lot of reserved here. So we'll make a right down here on the end. And then go to the back. I'm thinking the back should be 90 degree back. So maybe that's less filled. Also, it's a farther walk. So 
Dude, the engine brake's not even on. I don't know if you guys can hear the turbo or not, but it's like, just doing its thing. Yeah, there's spots on the back row, so. Dude, that turbo, dude, sweet. Oh, my head itches. There's another GP, and it looks like it's a 2024 as well. So, I need to come up to here. Now I'm going to turn it up. This is going to be a fun back. I'm telling you guys that right now. So, I'm going to turn it up. It. Like so. I should go for this one here, but we're gonna go for this one. Even trailer down here. Oh my goodness. She's a little rough. Straight, no, we're gonna have to give it some left already. We're gonna go one turn left here. Can I give it more left or not yet? No, I can't. I'm gonna go hard left. And then hard right. And then back. One turn left. We just really have to like, we're good on the side where GP's at. This is tricky. So you can see that we're going in towards his trailer a little bit, but we can just swing it out here. Get that bend in it. Thing, these freight liners are pretty similar. So now we're gonna pull it to the right here. And kind of shift it over a little bit. And shift it over in reverse too, just a little bit because we're still teeter-tottering that line there. Push it over more that way. And give her some right. And come back under it. Alrighty, there she is. Also doesn't help that he was sticking out a little bit extra, but we got her in, so straighten our wheel out. Make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe for future content. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Come on, everything is a okay when you're riding with Jay.
keep those wheels turning and we do this every day Backing up a trailer, look at all the roads I've driven Come and ride with me, yeah, let me show you how I'm living Come on